going on dudes and Mars of the team and welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. In the last episode, we did all of our Bond episodes for the standby phase and then we came here to Hino Mountain because we finally convinced Kagro to take us to the gut, Togetsu. And we're around the corner from Togetsu now. We have probably like one fight or something before we get there. Um, so, yeah. Choka's duplication should be useful. Probably. Well, that didn't take very long. I only had to hit it twice. That other attacks with explosions. It's dangerous to get close. If your body catches fire, it's gonna keep hurting you. Be careful. I don't even know what's going on at this point, dude. Those enemies are doing more damage than we are. Cool. Well, at this point, that oh! damn it, I dodged a little bit. All right, all right, everything's in my way. Everything's happening too fast. <laughs> my keyboard is too close, and which means that the cord of my microphone is getting up and it's bumping my hand, and I'm not. It's okay. Let's move. <laughs> ah! Jeez, I got fucking wrecked by those guys. In a fucking really, I don't know what's happened, dude. Everything is just nuts right now. Fuck these guys! Oh my god. Run, youngster. <laughs> well, that kind of worked. We'll take it. And there we go. Okay, did we do it? Holy shit. What a way to start. And here we are. That still gets you. <laughs> that massive fucking block in the in, in the world. It's absurd. <clears throat> Total yes, engineering marvel. Okay, no I didn't even have to hit a button. It just went straight in. Togetsu, sanctuary looking up at the moon. Lady Kasane, our treasure. You have finally returned. What's going on? Why would I be your treasure? That's quite a welcome they're giving you. I don't know, it's still unsettling. They're like robots. Shiden, don't be rude. I'm sure it's just their custom. Either way, this is a pretty excessive reception. You have any idea why they do this? No. I've never been involved with the Togetsu faith in any way. You would understandably not remember. However, you are originally from Togetsu. I'm... from here? Yes. You were born with an incredible power. This drew the interest of New Himoka, and they abducted you. I don't know what you're up to, but you're lying. My parents were killed by others when I was young. That's why the Randall family took me in. I understand your disbelief. However, those of us in Togetsu have not forgotten you for even a single day. We stood fast, having faith you would return to us one day. This is getting us nowhere. We came here to ask questions. Let's scratch the formalities. We want to know about the brains you've been trading to Seiron. Yes, we must tell you the truth. However, we will share it only with you. I am terribly sorry, but I must ask you to come with us alone. No. Whatever you tell me, I'm going to tell them anyway. So why don't you save us the time and just talk to us here? Joka? But your clothes are different, so it's not duplication. There's another fake Kyoko over here. What's going on? <clears throat> Let me go! What the hell? Clones? How is this happening? What's going on? Kyoka, did you know? I'm sorry, Kasane. 
this feeling. I felt it before. Good night, Kasane. May you have the most pleasant dreams. That was a little more intense than I actually expected it to be. I didn't think it was going to... Wow. Congratulations, Kasane. You're finally awake. Kasane? Kasane! Who... Who's calling my name? <laughs> Look at that! It's a puppy! Isn't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen? I think he's simply adorable. Wouldn't you agree? A puppy? I feel so... safe... and warm. Do I... know this woman? <laughs> killed him. The puppy. That's right. I remember. We were always together. My beloved friend. They killed him. They killed him right in front of me. <sighs> no change. Her power failed to trigger. It seems the pet's death is not a sufficient enough shock. Please stop. Kasane is just a child. Do you think emotionally torturing her will actually save the future? The design children were created for that purpose. She is not a failure like you. We need the Red Strings to reset this mistaken universe and bring about the proper future. We don't need to reset anything. This world is fine the way it is. It's Mother. So warm and kind. She always protected me. How could I have forgotten? No, I don't want to remember. This feeling. What is this? She has been a complete failure. I had thought making her an attendant would at least prove somewhat useful. I guess enough time has passed. We'll use this next. That's right. I knew it. They... You should feel honored, you failure. You will become the foundation of a new era. They killed Mother! I'm sorry, Kasane. Please find happiness. That's right. That's the day I lost her. The one who raised me. My mother. I'm an artificially created psionic? This red string's power. <sighs> My head. <sighs> Where... Am I? Was that... a dream? No, that wasn't a dream. It was memories of a forgotten past. Where am I? If they went through the trouble of drugging me... I knew it. They locked me in. Maybe I can break through somewhere. Who's there? Lady Kasane, I have brought you fresh clothing. Huh? Hey! What's going on? Whoa, chill. <laughs> Don't get your panties in a bunch, Kasane. It's just me, good old Kagero. Good timing. What kind of princess attacks their prince charming when he comes to rescue her? Your decision to run off just before we entered Togetsu was pretty suspicious. What do you know? Are you planning on betraying us like Kyoka? 
If I was going to betray you, I wouldn't be here to rescue you. Why don't you calm down and use your head? I told you you'd regret coming here. Anyway, I'll explain later. This place is bad news. It's way worse than the last time I was here. Also, and I haven't a clue as to why, but it seems like Yuito's here too. Yuito? That's not good. They're after my red strings, which means they'll probably target him too because he has the same power. Then I guess we'll have to save him too. This really puts a damper on my plans. Can't believe I have to sneak past their defenses, meet up with Arashi and the others, and also warn Yuito about the danger. Anyway, I'm going to use my power to turn us invisible. They'll figure out you're gone right away, so we don't have much time. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> Do you know where Yuito is? We'll know where Yuito, Arashi, and everyone else is if we use Babe. Babe? It's the city computer that integrates all information in Togetsu. It's like Arahabaki in New Himuka. Kasane? Thank God you're okay. I can't contact Arashi and the others. They might be closed in somewhere. We can unlock all these doors from Babe's terminal. Let's hurry. What's he doing? <laughs> Wait, they... Huh? Oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. Anyway, we get a message. Arshi and Sheen's location. Arshi and Sheen are being held in somewhere in Togetsu. I'll contact you as soon as I know exactly where. Of course they're being held in Togetsu. That's where we are. Kasane, I found Yuito. You see that door? It leads to the city computer babe. We should follow them inside. Oopsies, it's locked. They won't be able to hear us from in there. We'll have to wait until they come out. Are you serious? Think about what they just did to you. He probably wouldn't be able to answer even if he could hear you. What do you mean? Babe is a super top secret facility. They're not just gonna go ahead and let some outsider in so easily. But if they used it as bait, Oh, I see. <laughs> Those wily bastards. What is it? Tell me. I'm thinking that a computer belonging to the city would be fully capable of hijacking any mind that accesses it. That'd be the fastest way for them to get to Yuito's power. Then we have to break down this door right now. Whoa, 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 wait a second. We'll be found too. That's probably the worst thing we could do. There's gotta be another way. I know. I might be able to force a brain talk connection from here. Can you hear me, Yuito? <clears throat> Yuito. Yuito! This feels like an FAS. Yuito, are your thoughts leaking? Are you trying to connect to Babe? What is... I can't... My body! Is his brain really being hijacked like Kagura said? Stop! What you're doing is too dangerous! Cut the connection now! Can you hear me, Yuito? <clears throat> Kasane? <clears throat> it seems like they were trying to hijack my brain. Thanks for disconnecting me. He's talking to his team while I'm still connected. I think he's safe now. Yuito, I forced myself in because I was nearby. Kasane! You're in Togetsu too? Oh, uh, wait. Before that, thanks for saving me. Instead of thanking me, why don't you help me? Arashi and the others have been captured. They have? They're being held in some room, but I don't know which one. Are you in Babe's terminal? I want you to try to unlock all the doors in Togetsu from there. Okay, I'll try. Wait, if he unlocks everything... Alarms? Yes, that was to be expected. Kasane, 
Hisane? Are she? Good. I can finally get through to you. Seems like you're okay. I'm glad you're okay too, Shiden. Let's rendezvous. I know where you are, so just wait for me to get there. Hey, I'm not some kind of lost child. I'll take care of the lost little boy. Hurry up and get us. How do you know where they are? Did Kyoka or not Kyoka? Haraka give you coordinates or something? Because we just now heard from them. Looks like you two aren't hurt. <laughs> of course not. I was more worried about you, but it looks like you're fine. Thanks to Kagero. I'd still be locked up if it wasn't for him. I guess it means your shady lone wolf nature came in handy. Guess so. Now, as much as I'd love to stick around for this touching, heartwarming reunion, time is of the essence here. You're right. We should try to escape in all this confusion. Okay. What's all that commotion, anyway? Is that because of us? It's Yuito Platoon. I don't know what they're doing, but they're in Togetsu, too. We were able to save you thanks to them, though. Then I'd like to thank them. I guess I can't unless we get out of here. Cool. I actually, this was, I feel like, way quicker. Well, it was a lot quicker than U Yuito's, because with Yuito's, uh, we had, there was a ton of, like, lore. I can't believe she's a Togetsu spy. You didn't meet her before, Kagero? No, never. Residents of Togetsu almost never communicate with each other. We'll be able to go forward now. All right. Phew, looks like we made it out. Man, my invisibility power really saved the day. I'll admit that invisibility is useful, but doesn't it make you uneasy to have nobody notice you? Right? You totally get me. That's why I like to shout after I use my power. Damn you and your impulses. We're still in enemy territory. What if someone finds us? No need to worry about that. They've already found us. Right, Kyoka? So you noticed me. What are you doing here, Kyoka? I was already on alert when Kagero disappeared. Unfortunately, an unexpected visitor caused me to fall behind. I can't let you leave. We need you to reset this mistaken universe. Here she comes. Get ready. Okay. Wait a second. Explain what's going on. Right. Why did you betray us? This. It was all to undo past mistakes. Help me, That's why we need you, Kasane. Move! Fool. Cool demeanor. Just like the Kyoka I met so long ago. My mission always comes first. Kyoka! It's up to you. Leave it to me. Dude! Dodge out of the way! This is pissing me off, bro! Sorry for the trouble. Ah! It's also, like, I really dislike. Here's the thing. Like, in this game, you can see it with the random bosses. You can see it with the character things. They're attacking in one direction. You move a little bit, they track you perfectly. And it's, it's a super. It's a boss thing. But, like, it sucks to play against because 
Every once in a while you get a perfect dodge, but then even even when I'm doing like a retaliation attack, they could still attack through that. They don't really get stunned. It's just like, it's very frustrating because like that, look at that. I'm running away as literally as fast as I can and I'm still getting hit as I'm trying to move. What? So I'm invisible and nobody saw me, yet they know exactly where I am. You gotta love it. Platoon member is in danger. Fucking Christ, that was so close. Oh my god. I got stuck in a combo and I couldn't get a healing off, so I just had to commit. We did it though. God, man. What are you talking about? Have your memories been manipulated? I wouldn't put something like that past Togetsu. Kyoka, you have to remember, you're Kyoka Eden, our teammate. I'm not sure that's going to work. If what I think happened really did, Kyoka's consciousness is the one that got tacked on after. I don't know how much you know, but she's trying to fight whatever they did to her memory. If you can do something, help her! You want to help her even though she's a Togetsu spy? Oh, stuff it, Kagero. I want to get my teammate back. Yeah, yeah. Kyoka. No. Major Kyoka. I... I'm losing sight of who I am as well. But so many memories are helping me piece myself together as Kasane Randall. One of those memories is you welcoming me into Kyoka Platoon. You're Kyoka Eden. You're the commander who made me who I am. Kasane! Everyone! Are you okay? Sorry. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Kyoka, I'm so relieved. You're back. Not so fast. As much as I'd like that to be true, she could just be pretending. Arashi! I thought you wanted to bring Kyoka back! Sorry, but I'm not an idealist posing as a realist like you. I'm skeptical precisely because I want her back. Yes. You're right to be skeptical. I... I really am a spy for Togetsu. Since when? How long have you been deceiving us? Since the beginning. I'm a Togetsu spy sent in to infiltrate Suo. We needed to awaken Kasane's power in order to fulfill Togetsu's agenda. My orders were to secretly protect Kasane, help her grow, and then lead her back to Togetsu once her Red String's power was awakened. I see. If you're planning on putting your espionage behind you, then I want you to tell me something. Who is Pope? Does it have to do with the way you acted? I have the memories of Dr. Hitoyo Pope, the neuroscience expert and founder of the Togetsu Faith. I used to be Dr. Pope herself a long time ago, but as I spent my years as Kyoka, Kyoka's memories began to build on each other, 
and they continued to grow stronger every day. It was only a matter of time before her personality took hold. Kasane, I didn't protect you because I was ordered to by Togetsu. I loved you. I loved you and everyone else on the team. Honestly, I loved everything about my life as Kiyoka Eden. I knew this day would come, but I prayed so hard that it wouldn't. I had always hoped that your Red Strings power would never awaken. Not that you would believe me. Whether we believe you isn't important. What do you want to do? What? Arashi said you should only answer if you thought you're done being a spy. And you did. Are you planning on going back to Togetsu and spy for them again? What is it that you want to do? You still haven't told us yet. I... I... I am one of the design children. A clone that was created to carry out my mission. That was all I was required to think about. Failure means death. That used to be everything to the old me. But now it's different. Now... I have something I want to do. I can't be sure how much I can hold back Pope's consciousness. There's no guarantee that I'll be able to suppress it. So... Being with me might put everyone in danger. I know what I did is unforgivable, and that I'm in no position to ask you for anything, but... This is where I want to be, with all of you. I want to protect Kasane. I want to protect all of you, because you gave my life meaning. I believe you. I couldn't imagine that the warmth and kindness I've witnessed from you were all lies. You may be a little nosy from time to time, but that's just who you are. Yeah, that's the Kyoka I know. If that was an act, then we deserve to be tricked. And don't worry, if this Pope ever does come out, I'll put you out of your misery. You can be assured of that. So basically, you're saying you'll kill her if she betrays us. That's kind of scary. It's nice you could joke about it, but unlike Kyoka, who told us everything, you haven't done anything to earn our trust. Ouch, that hurts. You know, I'm the one who saved Kasane. Look, we can talk about me once we get out of here. I'm guessing they'll send more people after us when they realize Kyoka is missing. That's true. Well, let's hurry then. Come on, Kyoka. You too. <sighs> Nobody here objects, so obviously you're coming. Thank you, all of you. I wonder why I'm so obsessed with the term design children. I'll have to ask about it again later. All right. All right. Well, let's read this here real quick, since I paused by going to the brain uh, talk menu or whatever. The drug I gave you was just something that clouds the mind. It's the same drug you were given when you were in Togetsu. That really doesn't mean I can tell you to not worry about it. I'm really sorry. My time in Togetsu is slowly coming back to me. You don't need to apologize anymore. Let's start thinking about what we need to do next. You don't need to apologize anymore. It's just so quick to I'm forgive. Sorry, I made you worry too, Haruka. That's okay. All I could do was watch, but I'm glad you came back. Welcome home. I believe we're going to be meeting. Kazane, I'm getting multiple human readings some distance away. I believe it's Yuito Platoon. Copy that. Seems like they made it out too. Would be nice if we could exchange information with them. Yuito, can you and your platoon hear me? Kasane! Oh, I'm glad you're okay. Are you near us? Yes, but we're closer to Togetsu than you, and we're still running. Let me make a suggestion. You learned something in there, right? Why don't we exchange intel? And we have a lot to talk about. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. Good. That settles it. We'll be waiting halfway up Hino Mountain. Roger that. See you then. If we're exchanging information, what are we going to tell them about Kyoka? Don't mention it. I think it. we should tell them the truth. I just feel we'll regret it later if we try to hide it. 
Besides, there's something about Togetsu I haven't been able to tell you yet. But let's wait until we meet up with Yuito and his team. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious to know what it is. But yeah, it'll be more efficient to hear it then. Well, let's head their way then. Sure. Ah. Uh, there's three of these fuckers, bro. Get over here, exploding ass motherfuckers. Thank you. They killed one. Looks like I got stronger again. <laughs> it's trying to run it. <laughs> Kasami, why don't you use hyper velocity with SES? I don't know what the fuck happened. The boulders are just like, it's like, nah, I'm not gonna work, sorry. Probably because it was facing the wrong way, but like. That blows. Was good, Kasane. It's Yuito Platoon. Let's go. Kasane, looks like all of you made it out okay. I was able to rescue them thanks to your help. I should be thanking you. I would have been taken over by Babe if you hadn't been there. Hey, Kasane, you're not going to try and kill Yuito again, are you? I already told you, she was the one that saved me. I know, but I want to hear her say it. You have all the right in the world to doubt me. In fact, I don't blame you for it either. Yes, I think it's best to talk for now. We should talk and find a better solution, rather than just forging ahead on assumptions. It took me too long to come to this decision, and I apologize for that. Something's different about you. Can you tell me what happened? Why did you try to kill me? I know this will sound ridiculous, but please hear me out. And she tells so him my power affected the Kunan Gate. He learned. So you knew. Already. Yeah. I didn't want to believe it, but it's true. So, the me in the future... I guess I just wasn't able to end it myself. How lame. All right, I kind of want to say this now. I, I apologize for randomly in episodes having to pause in the middle of these sort of cutscenes. It's just, I don't. It doesn't fucking matter. Sorry, it has to happen. That's not true. The you in that time was great, and you right now is special too. <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you'd be complimenting me. <laughs> Thanks. That makes me feel a little better. I'm proud I have the same power as you. That reminds me. How is your brain doing? Has it settled down at all? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting by. I told you not to worry. Liar. He's trying to keep us from worrying. Just like Naomi. All right. We should exchange intel. Then first and foremost, we got some questions. Especially about Kyoka. Yes, of course you would. Kyoka, are you one of the design children from Togetsu? Yes, I'm a clone made in Togetsu. My genes come from the founder of the Togetsu faith, Dr. Hitoyo Pope. The city is filled with chosen psionics, designed from the same genetic data as me. We are the children of Togetsu. Again, this term, design children... I know I've heard it somewhere before. It was when I regained a memory of Mother. Yes. She said I was... made. I see. I guess that's why Kyoka and Dr. Pope look the same. We were shocked when we saw Dr. Pope's vision in the Togetsu facility. I hate to ask this, but if she was one of the Togetsu followers... Yes, Kyoka was a spy. She was spying on Kasane. But that's not the case anymore. She decided to live as one of us. I vouch for Kyoka. She's definitely not our enemy. Yeah, I believe you. What? That was fast. The way Kasane looks at Kyoka is proof enough. Though, that's kind of an embarrassing way to put it. Honestly, 
I don't know much about Kyoka, so I can't really make this decision myself. But I do know Kasane. I wanted to talk to her to decide what to do, and I thought it was best to trust her. If I trust Kasane, then I trust the people she does. Shiden, there's no need to get so riled up. You know very well this is the kind of person Yuito is. Yeah, I just remembered how stupid he is. Hey, Kasane. If Kyoka is one of the design children, does that mean you are too? Hmm. What? What are you talking about? In Togetsu, we saw design children with the same face as Kasane's. Yes, I probably am. That's a weird way to say it. This is the first I've heard of this. Care to extrapolate? I remembered a little from when I was a child in Togetsu. I remembered Mother. From what I recall, I was told I was one of the design children. It only just came back to me, so it doesn't feel real. That's why I said it like that. Oh, I see. I I'm sorry. It must be a painful memory for you. You look so sad. I I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. You're very kind, Hanabi. But of course you should have asked. Don't worry about it. And thank you. You're so nice to her, Kasane. Really? I wasn't trying to be. Anyway, is there anything else you wanted to ask about? Yeah, there is. If you know anything about humans coming from the moon, I'm hoping you can tell me more about it. Huh? D did you hit your head or something? <laughs> oh, so you guys don't know about this? Wait, what he said is true? I yes. All right. I guess we should explain what we've been told. Who should I talk to first? Any of them. We'll talk to Luca. Luca's first The people one here. who colonized the moon began a major cleanup effort to save the polluted Earth and make it habitable again. They spent nearly a thousand years on the project. The first colonists from the moon were led by Yakumo Sumeragi. What they established on Earth later became known as New Himuka. It's hard to believe, I know. It was after the first colonists from the moon arrived on Earth that the extinction belt suddenly appeared. Because of its appearance, they were no longer able to contact the government on the moon. So, I guess it's safe to assume that there are people on the moon too? Apparently, human beings colonized the moon over 3,000 years ago because the Earth's environment wasn't livable anymore. It's so long ago, it feels like a fairy tale. It may be hard to believe, but apparently our ancestors moved here from the moon 2,000 years ago. We learned all of this after looking through Togetsu's archive, so I honestly don't know if we should really believe all of it. But if you were a Togetsu spy, Kyoka, you would know if this is true or not. Yes, that's indeed what we were taught. But if that was also part of the conspiracy, then... Actually, no. It's true. It's all for real. What do you mean, Kagura? Sugumi, don't look at me like that. I can't stand it when you look at me like that. Kagura, there's a lot I want to ask you. But for now, tell us about history as Togetsu sees it. Do all Togetsu believers know this? Right, about that. The faith. That's all a lie. Just a way to get Togetsu independence. Besides, the place is mostly made up of design children. I must say, it didn't look like a religious establishment to me. So does that mean that you are one of the design children as well, Kagero? Now, now, I said mostly, didn't I? I'm a colonist from the moon. Get real! Even if there actually were colonists from the moon, that would have been 2,000 years ago. Cold sleep. Yes, exactly. A few dozen colonists are being kept in cold sleep in a Togetsu facility. They wake us up in turns to check on the state of the Earth. And then we're supposed to contact the moon. Uh, hold on. Does that mean you're from the same generation as Yakumo? 
Look, I don't expect you to believe me right away or anything, but it's the truth. The people of New Himuka wanted to live on Earth, so those that wanted to return to the moon made Togetsu. Togetsu doesn't care about New Himuka or Seiron. They're an egotistical lot that wants to return to the moon instead of living on this crappy, other-filled planet. But as long as the extinction belt is there, they can't go back. Not only that, there's news that others are attacking the moon too. So they got to thinking, what can they do to save their homeland and escape Earth? They need to make it so the colonization never even happened in the first place. The red strings. The time travel power. I see. They want to go back in time and negate it all from ever happening. But wouldn't humanity eventually attempt to colonize Earth again and repeat this history? To be precise, the plan is to only take the Moon and Earth back in time with a few exceptions. Is that even possible? Taking only a portion of the universe back in time? They believe the Red Strings can do it. They plan to leave records of this timeline's history in the areas that were not taken back in time. So future generations won't attempt to colonize Earth again. Hang on. I'm getting confused. That's so outrageous. I don't know how to take it all in. Whether you want to believe it or not, Togetsu actually managed to create the Red Strings to carry out their plan. Kasane is the result of that. Although, it's pretty strange how Yuito has a similar power. Let's suppose everything he said is true. That means this isn't really the time to be squabbling over New Himuka or Seiron. If Togetsu were to get what they're after, then none of us would have ever existed. No, that's not right. We can't let them succeed. We're all here, trying to survive. Kagero, why would someone at the center of Togetsu's plan reveal all this to us? Can we assume that you are planning to abandon them as well? Ruining their plan is something I've been working towards since the beginning. That's why I joined them, to get in the way. That sounds great and all, but how are we supposed to believe you? You don't have to. If you've got a problem with me, I'll walk. But whatever happens, I'm not going to sit back and let them get away with erasing this history. I left my family on the moon. I won't let them take her existence, too. Kagero means it. I can tell. It's been a long time since I've seen him like this. So please, trust him. Sugumi. Sugumi knows Kagero best. I think we can trust her judgment. Besides, I have a feeling you trust him already. Yeah. If Sugumi trusts him, then I trust him too. And if Yuito does, then I do too. Of course, I'll kill him if he betrays us. <laughs> of course. I keep making fun of them for being naive. But that's what ends up saving me. If we're going to believe Kagero, then we have to believe all of the history about the colonists from the moon, too. And then figure out what we can do knowing that. We're stopping Togetsu's plan. That's all we can do. But it's too much for us to handle alone. We need someone who can move nations. Are you going to ask New Himuka for help? We're fugitives there. Even so, we have to. That doesn't mean I forgive them for the things they're doing, though. If they know what Togetsu is trying to do, they might realize their terrible actions are all in vain. What if we asked Seiron for help? If they know about the Togetsu threat, they might realize that New Himuka isn't who they should be fighting. I wonder. As far as I know, both New Himuka and Seiron should have a clear understanding about the Moon colonists and their history. On top of that, they're both scheming to survive. At least it's better than nothing. I don't want to just sit here and wait to be erased. Indeed. So, we should split up and give it a shot? Yes, let's do that. Yuito, you go to New Himuka. And you go try explaining things to Seiron. Now we're finally after the same thing. Let's do our best. Gosh, I've been sitting here literally probably for 10 minutes without being able to say anything. 
Ugh, what an exhausting day. Way too much happened. You don't get to say that! At least you already knew about the moon and Togetsu's plan. I'm sorry. Look, let's not start pointing fingers. We should sit down and try to process what we learned. I agree. We've been in the dark all this time, but not anymore. That's right. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu. Kyoka, Kagura, you both all right with that? Yes, of course. This is what I want, to be with all of you. So wait, you decided to trust me? Shiden, you're so sweet. You're making me regret it talking like that. Are you blushing? Dang it, you caught me. You know, kids wouldn't talk to adults like that back in my day. I swear I'll never betray you. If I did, these last 2,000 years would be for nothing. Then let's set out for Seiron after we get some rest. Stay in my face eight. Okay. Holy cow. Now we're near the end of the episode. A talk. I'm glad Yuito trusted us. He's such a kid, though. I can't tell if he's honest, a sucker, or just too nice. Yes, you're right. But that might be what makes him strong. You don't remember being in Togetsu at all, Kasane? No. I only remember bits and pieces. Did you know me then? No, I didn't. I'm sorry I didn't tell you anything. Okay, it looks like we have four Bond episodes, some conversations, so might be able to move on to the next phase. You look so relieved, Major. Your beauty just shines through. There's a weight off my chest now that I told you everything. What about you? Me? Can't you tell? I'm so refreshed from talking that I'm 50% more fresh-faced. I see. Alrighty, well I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. So hope you all enjoyed. You appreciated the next episode. As I said, we'll do the Bond episodes. And depending if we have time, we may move on to phase nine. So, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more. And I will talk to you all later. Mm -hmm.